Um, during the final flight of the German armed forces in Normandy, as the <coughs> Allies fun funneled them into what was known as the Follies Gap, the Germans tried to retreat across the various rivers from France into Germany using whatever crossing point they could. If they could find a bridge, if they could find a ford, so much the better. And these areas were viciously fought over. One of the areas <coughs> was an area called St. Lambert, Sedeves, which it literally translates as the village of St. Lambert by the River Deves, which consists of a small ford, a village, and it was the scene of a vicious three-day battle between German grenadiers and the Canadians, which resulted in a Canadian victory and the award of a Victoria Cross. Um, quite a few bits and pieces used to be able to be found actually lying in the river at the crossing point because these crossing points were choked with hundreds of Germans, dozens and dozens of vehicles, all trying to squeeze through whatever passageway they could to get to Germany. One such item that I've got was found in 1989 and it's a relic <coughs> of the August 1944 St. Lambert battle is this German metal alloy land police buckle. I'll show you it in close up in a minute. It's metal alloy, it's got a swastika in the centre, half a wreath at the bottom, got mit uns around the top. Two types of this buckle were issued. The alloy one was issued to the land police. Now the land police were a, a uniformed civil police which organised duties in in captured areas. They weren't the fell gendarme, they weren't the railway police, they were, an, they were a militarised civilian police force and they wore their own pattern of buckle. This buckle in alloy is the land police one. The same buckle in uh, gilt plated brass is the river police, the water police buckle. And, and, and a bronze one, I think, was the fire police. So three types of buckle were issued at this pattern. Um, but this one, in metal alloy, is the uh, the land police version. So this was lost, probably killed, German soldier. It's got really good detail. It's got a bit of smoothness from water damage. There's no there's no there's no dug up damage. It's not a dug up. It was actually found in the river in 1989, and the detail is really good. Naked marked on the back L U F. So I'll do a bit of a close up. So just bear with me a second. If I go like this, and we turn that around there. Now, as you can see, there we are. That pattern of buckle with the swastika, half a wreath, got me to once. It's pebbled just like a regular buckle, but that pattern is the land police. And if we turn it around, it's in such good condition that we can make out the make a mark there which is L L U F I'll have to look in my book and put a make a mark there but it's in really good condition that was found in 1989 so that's the quality of some of the things that you could have found out there back then and it was literally just lying in the river and at the crossing point you could walk ankle deep in river water across the crossing point stick your hand in the water and literally pick up hundreds and hundreds of German K98 rounds of ammunition and cases. It was that good back then. So that's a pebbled alloy German land police buckle from the, the Battle of St. Lambert Sedeves, Normandy, August 1944. Oops, he said, picking that. So. one yet another relic and um, you don't find them of this quality anymore and um, if you're lucky you go to the French fairs you might find them there but a lot of them don't have any history but this one 1989 Battle of St. Lambert so we'll see you again for another video bye bye